Hi FossTube, it's Lorna the Ladybird Stitcher. Today is Friday the 6th of March 2020 and I'm here for my February update. Um, I just wanted to get, um, just wanted to do a couple of things before I get into my whips. Um, last, in my last video I said that colour and cotton was was American was not American because of the way color was spelt. Um, thank you for those people who set me straight on that. They are actually American, um, so forgive me for saying the wrong thing there. I made an assumption, and you know what they say about making assumptions. Um, the other thing is I wanted to thank uh, Morgan A Stitchy Moon seventy five, and I will link her below for shouting me out. Um, thank you very much for that. Um, okay, I've got, I don't have much haul, so what I thought I'd do is just go, go over that, um, very briefly to begin with, because there isn't much of it at all. Um, and then I'll get into the whips. So, um, I received some fabric, um, it's 28 Count Brittany, and it's by Jodry Designs. It's an August 2016 limited edition called Blazing Sun, and I, I just love the colour of it. It's really pretty. Um, and it came with matching thread and I just found this on stash unload, Aussie stash unload. So that's really pretty. Um, and there are a couple of, there's one other thing, but, um, I will get to that in a minute cause I'm using it already. I know I broke the golden rule of using things before they before I show them on floss tube, but hopefully you'll forgive me for that. Um, okay. I had one new start and a finish which is um, on my Santa's village and it was called Christmas Tree Farm which is that one that's Christmas Tree Farm yeah and that's how Santa's village is looking so far It's not the most exciting stitch, I have to be honest, um, but it will look nice when it's finished. I know that. And the next one in the series is called Candy Cane Cottage, which is like that. I also worked on Story Keep Bell for a short time, and here's what it will look like when it's finished. And here's what it looked like the last time you saw it. And here it is now. Um, so I have done something really strange there. I'm not sure. I can't actually remember why I did that. I think I was just counting stitches um, before I got Pattern Keeper, which now counts stitches for me. But um, and that's why I kind of started on this one and now I've gone onto this column and yeah, I don't need to do that anymore with Pattern Keeper, but um, so that's only background. It's nothing exciting just yet. This is on 25 count Lugana one over one full crosses. Nothing exciting yet. It's just the background. Uh, really looking forward to getting down to the picture, but that will take a while and work. I have to work on it. Okay, so this, this is part of the haul. It was this project bag by um, Teaser Handmaids, Taryn. Uh, she's lovely. I met her, I met her and had, we had a chat and a coffee um, and she gave me this bag that I had ordered and I love it. It's, um, I had to hide it from my daughter, but when she did see it, she loved it and she nearly took it off me. So <laughs> my daughter's five, but um, it kind of has a more, I know they, they're kind of unicorns and um, not very adult, but I do like these. So beautiful fabric. So thank you, Tara. Tar um, beautiful work as always. So that was the other part of my haul. And while we're on that subject, um, while I was at the retreat in Mittagong um, in November, Taran was also there with her store and I also got this from her. It's the Outlander bag. I'm, I think Teresa showed a very similar one. It's beautiful. I love Outlander. So, 
there you go and i also ordered i also got this one from her and it's lovely as well so um anyone in australia who is interested in project bags beautiful project bags please look up teaser handmaids i will link her below um, she does beautiful work so what's in this bag you may ask well it's the long dog samplers day and night which will look like that when it's finished and here's what it looked like the last time you saw it this is on 20 count lugana and it's just ivory so there it is at the moment i really enjoy working on this one i think it's because there's so many little motifs that you just feel like you've completed something every time you finish one um so yeah it's really really cute really sweet and whimsical i'm really enjoying that and i'm really enjoying the 20 count fabric actually um it's obviously the same size as a 40 count if you do over two on a 40 count um but yeah really enjoying that one so um the other one is well, one of the other ones is the three musketeers cell by sapphire mountain handcrafts i think i will link her below as well her etsy shop and she's did i show you this? i think this was a new start this time so um here's where it is now this is up to date i've completed part one and part two i hope you can see that properly um it says all for one and i believe the next line will be and one for all or one for all um this is a stitch along as well as a read along so we're all reading the three musketeers by alexandra dumas which is one of my favorite novels i got into this when the movie um the man in the iron mask came out this is actually the first in a series of five books and the man in the iron mask was book five and I wanted to read the books before I watched the movie and I really wanted to watch the movie. So I um, ordered all the books. Um, this one was readily available, but I believe the next three in the series weren't that readily available when I ordered them. Um, they had to bring them in for me. So that took a little while, but um, yeah, I just love the, the language. It's such, such beautiful language. Um, you just really need to get in, um to read it to understand and um i just love this book the three musketeers um yeah i recommend that one for anyone who loves english um it's a beautiful book and <laughs> it is translated from french so um but the translator in this case i don't know if they've just done a really wonderful job or if they've translated it exactly from french but um the english is just beautiful it's so poetic um really lovely use of language but that's the cell there and uh, so i'm doing it on the blue fabric which this is 28 count even weave called western sky and it's by um so at all australia um there is a conversion that she gives as well for to do it on white fabric um with more of a blue colored thread um it's nice small motifs um so it's very manageable and it's easy to kind of um when the parts come out the parts are coming out once a month i'm not sure how many there are i don't know if it's four or six i think it might only be four um so it's fun to do the little motifs um it, they just they're a little bit tedious um sorry to show this again but um it's just yeah if you if you see there's very recurring patterns there um the fleur de lis which you have to s stitch four times these little things you have to stitch three times and then the lengths of um these patterns that you have to keep doing over and over and then these ones like this this particular pattern here is four times um so if you don't like repetitive patterns don't do this one but otherwise it does look nice so I, I am happy with the way it's turning out so yeah 
So I'm trying to keep up with that one and I'm doing okay so far. I also worked on Summer Queen by Mirabilia. I didn't bring the cover photo, but um, I'll insert it here. And here's what it looked like the last time you saw it. And here's where it is now. So this is Summer Queen, which I'm doing as a cell with Belinda Aussie Stitcher. I will link her channel below as well. Hers is looking beautiful. I'm really loving the way this is turning out. And as a result, I think that if I focus on this, I could probably get it done this year. So what I've decided to do, instead of working on Autumn Queen during autumn, I'm going to keep working on this one um, with the hope of maybe getting it finished. Um, I kind of hope that I can finish this one in autumn and then in winter, get back onto Winter Queen and then focus on Winter Queen until that one's done and maybe get two Mirabilia's done. Um, I mentioned, I've mentioned in a couple of videos now that I really want to whip down this year and the main area of, of concern, not really concern, but for me, um, the main area of unease that I'm feeling is in the Mirabilia department. I have eight on the go and I feel like that's far too many for me. I know that a lot of people are managing more than that very well, but for me, I just find that that's a little bit much. And so I would like to finish this one off and hopefully Winter Queen as well this year. So that'll be really good. Um, this this is almost finished around here but then this one is quite this section is quite large so there is a lot more to go so if i don't finish it that's okay i'll just keep working on it until it's done um but i do want to get through this one before i move on to a different one and i feel like when i what i was doing was working on this once a month um and i find when i do that that the first week I don't get much done, but then when I move on to it the next time, the next month, I, I work really quickly on it. And I think that that may be just because um, I'm kind of into into the rhythm of it. Um, so that's another reason. I just want to continue working on it while I've got the momentum going. So yeah, I'm at the moment, that's what I'm thinking I'm going to do this month. I'm just going to keep working on Summer Queen just to get it done. So yeah so you may not see autumn queen until next year and then last but not least is juliet by tilton crafts and here's what it will look like when it's finished and here's what it looked like the last time you saw it And here's where it is now. I've taken the ground guard off. I'm still I'm stitching on this one for the stitchathon this weekend. Um, so forgive the Q snap. Um, this er, this section here, there's a lot of white which you can't really see, um, but there's it's also very confetti heavy because um, of the flowers. They're very there's a lot of confetti there, so it's very slow going. Um, but I do have Pattern Keeper now, and as an app, I'm loving it. I probably did not make the right choice in the tablet I got. I got a really, really cheap basic one, um, but it is very slow and clunky. Um, I don't think it has enough memory for the... I've only, I've only uploaded three charts to Pattern Keeper, but it's going very slow. So um, I really probably can't add many to it, um, or it'll just slow right down. But as an app, um, it's fantastic. As soon as you click on a symbol, it tells you exactly what DMC to go for. So you don't have to look that up. And there are quite a few colors in this piece. So that, that really helps, especially when you're doing a lot of confetti. So it does quicken things up a little bit there. So, and I find that I don't have to work in columns anymore with that. Um, you don't really even have to work in pages anymore because it, it shows the whole chart rather than um, page 
um, page by page. It does show the page breaks, but it's still all on one screen if you want it to be. Um, you obviously can zoom in and out and move it around. So yeah, I really recommend Pattern Keeper. I'm still on the trial version, but I definitely will buy it. I'm very happy with it. Um, this is on 25 count white Lugana and I'm stitching it one over uh, one over one full crosses on 25 count. So that's that one. Um, that's really all I had. I, um, I have gone back to work. I'm working, I'm able to work from home most days. Um, they have said that they will occasionally need me to go into the city um, to meet with the team and things, which is fine. I'm happy to do that once in a while, but um, the majority of the time I will be working from home, which I love. Um, I've got the flexibility that I need and I can um, go to school functions and things when I need to, which is really good. Um, my daughter appreciates that too. She's she's enjoying kindergarten. She had a bit of a rough patch. Um, the last month or so has been a bit rough, but I think she's kind of getting over that now. She had a bit of separation anxiety, um, but I think we're over the, the worst of it now. So, um, yeah, so school's going well. I'm enjoying... Um, the school functions as well as um, getting to know the other parents. Um, I knew a couple of them from her preschool so it's really good that she's got a few people with her from the preschool she went to um, and then they've introduced me to other parents and just other people in the community so um, I'm getting I'm really enjoying that part of things. Um, I'm only working three days a week and like I said, it's just really flexible. So if I need to go to, to go to the school for some reason, I just um, I just don't work that time that I need. Um, the other thing is that the school is um, it's about a twenty minute walk from where I live, and oh, it's twenty minutes when I've got my daughter with me. Um, I can do it in fifteen when I'm a, when I'm alone. So I'm getting a lot of walking in. It's about seven kilometres a day because I'm doing four trips. Um, so I'm, I'm finding that I'm um, just the, the fresh air and um, I'm really enjoying the walk. So um, hopefully that will help my, my health a little bit, hopefully. Um, so, yeah, things are going okay at the moment. Um, we're kind of still adjusting to the new routine and to me working. Um, my husband's kind of used to just saying, can you get this, can you get that from the shops? And I'm, I now have to remind him I can't go to the shops today, I'm working. So um, I'm trying not to, I know they've, they're quite flexible, but I don't want to kind of keep taking time out unless I need to. Um, so yeah, uh, that's really all I had. My plans for this month are to, um, I'll stitch on the Candy Cane Cottage on Santa's Village. I'll probably do another week on Summer Queen, like I said. Um, the Three Musketeers sell. There'll be another section released on the 22nd or 23rd of March. So I will stitch on that um, and try to keep up with that. I might pull out Night and Day again by Long Dog Samplers and work a little bit on that. Um, I think that's probably about it. Oh, and I'll keep working on Juliet this week. I would like to finish that page. Um, that's one of my goals for this month. So even I won't I won't manage it this weekend, but I think I'll keep working on it until it's done. So that's my plans for the rest of the month. This is a really short video, um, but that's really all I had. I didn't have much haul. Um, so yeah, I will let you go. Um, enjoy your weekend if you watch this on a Friday. Um, if not, enjoy your week. And I will see you again, hopefully in April. Take care, everyone. Bye.